dear students we were discussing in my previous lecture uh, about uh, the use of laplace transform elementary functions on various derivatives which are included in the form of equation that is differential equation and uh, that differential equation will be of ordinary and uh, linear differential equation with constant coefficients that differential equation uh, will contain the functions on the right side like uh, uh, constants it may be homogeneous it may be containing exponential it may be containing algebraic function it may be containing trigonometric function or it will contain combination of all these terms we discussed already uh, homogeneous function in the previous lecture and also the exponential term in the previous lecture so one such example this one y double dash minus y dash plus 2 y equal to e to the power 2 t so this is already discussed and the next one trigonometric function today we shall discuss and algebraic term also we shall discuss and the right side with uh, different types of uh, initial conditions also will be given today we shall discuss like that and uh, uh, equation containing some trigonometric function with with the various types of the angles also will be discussed today and as a final application today we shall discuss with equation more than one time that means two different uh, differential equations which are linear and first order differential equations are given and we call that type of system as simultaneous differential equations today we shall continue the problems uh, which contain on the right side that is with the uh, homogeneous of uh, higher order trigonometric function even algebraic fun uh, terms on the right side and various other functions now another example if i take uh, today that is in terms of uh, algebraic term and the exponential term uh, which are multiplied together on the right side and that becomes like this the problem is solve x double dash t and plus 2 x dash t plus x t equal to 6 into t e to the power minus t and the values initial values x 0 it is x dash 0 equal to 0 it is given dear students all these lectures were including laplace transform direct application laplace transform inverse application and various properties on direct laplace transform various properties on inverse laplace transform periodic function next is uh, uh, unit step function and finally having understood all these topics in the laplace transform this is uh, the case these are the cases finally you are going to apply how to uh, take out the solutions of a particular differential equation when right side containing various functions now this is entirely different uh, type of the term on the right side we are getting this is a product of algebraic term and the exponential term in the previous lecture we learned when the right side con was containing exponential term separately and homogeneous type means this part of was 0 today it is not 0 on the right side and how to evaluate using Laplace transform by the application of transform of derivatives that means Laplace transform on derivatives ok so we will proceed here uh, this uh, system that means the given statement includes x is a function of t because here x double dash t x dash t uh, they are all differential coefficients and dx by dt will convey the meaning that x is a function of t therefore we take laplace transform on each term that is l of x double dash t plus 2 times laplace transform of x dash of t plus l of it is x x t that is 6 is the constant it is nothing to do with the laplace transform you can put it outside that is t into e to the power minus t recall the expressions what you have studied for second order derivative first order derivative and the rule that is in place of f t 
uh, which takes as a product of algebraic term and exponential term. Here for the first term you must write that s square L of x t and minus s into because you know that it should go on decreasing by one number. Therefore, s into it is x 0 minus x dash of 0. All these three terms are responsible for the Laplace transform application for second order derivative that is the first term. And the second term 2 is to be multiplied for both that is 2 times s yes, it is L of x t and plus of 2 times means there is a minus sign in the formula you have to write 2 times it should be x 0 plus L of it is x t equal to 6 times what is the formula you have that is L of t to the power n it is f of t is equal to minus 1 to the power n it should be d n of f s it is d s to the power n. When algebraic term is multiplied for the original function that is f t then we call it as derivative property in the Laplace transform that is we you have defined two properties of Laplace transform this is the one algebraic term L of t to the power n f of t is equal to minus 1 to the power n d n divided by d s to the power n and uh, it is operating on f s. There is an another property that is integral property, but here the term is multiplied to the function f of t. So, that you have to go for derivative property otherwise we call it as multiplicative property. Multiplicative means multiplication by algebraic term here that is in the second case f of t is divided by t we call it as division property otherwise it is called integral property. But in this present problem we are applying that is uh, the case of uh, uh, multiplication when algebraic term is multiplied so that multiplicative property we apply. Okay. What is this f of s? This f of s is due to this f of s is due to applying l to this f t you are getting it as f of s. So, here f of t is that is e to the power t minus t that is your f of t then it is f s is equal to 1 by it is s plus 1. Otherwise, if you take this t uh, uh, as the second term and exponential as the first term we can also go for shifting property application, but as it is if you want to uh, process it then it comes to be t is multiplied so that multiplicative property you have to use because another option you can think like this for if you are so particular about exponential property then e to the power minus t into t then this becomes f of t then its f s is 1 by s square then easily you can make out that is 1 divided by s minus 1 whole square here 6 is there and then minus 1 you write as it is and here n equal to 1 because t degree is 1 and d n means here also 1 that is d s to the power 1 operating on f of s its f s is nothing but that is f s means 1 by s plus 1. Now, if you write this step I am sure that uh, mathematics uh, problem solving statement is like this if you understand the problem and if, if you write proper pop, uh, formulation I am sure that more than 75 percent of the solution is over because this step normally any evaluator will see any evaluation process will will be completely depending on what expression you are going to write and what formula you are going to write your presentation should be so good in LHS and RHS with all these details. Then what are your values given initial values this is 0 and x dash is 0 and here x is x is 0 of 0. You can easily collect the common coefficients which are explained like this L of x t multiplied by what terms that should be s square one term plus 2 s another term and one more is plus 1 that is s square plus 2 s plus 1 in the left side and to take any term from the LHS to RHS there is no term left 
because initial conditions are given x 0 is equal to 0 and as well as x dash 0 is also 0. So, you are left with no constant on the left side, so that you need not to shift anything to the right side. Only thing you have to discuss about the differentiation on the right side that is that is minus 1 to the power n that is n equal to 1. Therefore, minus 6 here and d by d s of 1 divided by s plus 1 differentiation easily you can make out that is minus 1 by it is s plus 1 whole square. How we are going to differentiate because you have studied uh, the basic uh, differentiation is this you can handle by two approaches one is as it is means u by v formula this is ratio uh, type that is u by v denominator s plus 1 into derivative of numerator is constant it is 0 minus 1 into differential of denominator is 1 and divided by it is s plus 1 whole square as a result you are getting minus 1 by should be s plus 1 whole square right. So, this is the term you are going to write this is one option another option easily you can think of when numerator is a constant therefore, it is d by d s of s plus 1 if you take this whole function to the numerator it turns out to be like minus 1 then it is derivative. So, as it is you have to write minus 1 into s plus 1 whole to the power minus 1 minus 1 it should be minus 2 and inside differentiation inside because it becomes the composite function composite means function of a function what is what do you mean by function of a function first you have to differentiate the expo, uh, do, uh, you know to make changes in the exponent means it is a degree of that particular factor this is the factor that is s plus 1 its degree is minus 1 and the differentiation should be taken as minus 1 with another minus 1 according to the rule it leaves the final coefficient as minus 2 and then differentiation inside differentiation inside means it is a linear term s is the linear term and the differentiation s to the power 1 minus 1 that becomes s to the power 0 that becomes 1 therefore, it leaves finally minus 1 divided by uh, that is s plus 1 minus 1 divided by s plus 1 whole square this whole square should be in the denominator because u by v formula denominator square then finally it becomes 6 divided by it is s plus 1 whole square so this is uh, the right side uh, simplification when you uh, talk about uh, the derivative property application for the whole product that is 6 into t into e to the power minus t then what do you uh, write for this quadratic function here it is a quadratic function that is s square plus 2 s plus 1 what you will write for this one that is a x square plus b x plus c form what is the coefficient then l of x t multiplied by it is s plus 1 whole square if you expand it s square plus 2 s plus 1 that means you are given the answer you have to write the statement the statement is this suppose if you expand you are getting like this suppose you, if you uh, reduce this by with the summation of two terms means it should be s plus 1 whole square and right side it should be 6 divided by s plus 1 whole to the power 2 then what do we what we want is l of x t you have to make this term as free from this multiplication it is equal to 6 divided by s plus 1 whole to the power of 4 that means here already 2 is there one more cross multiplication it makes us 4 then you have to go for or writing the final statement which uh, uh, gives the meaning as solution of the given differential equation the solution is 1 whatever the function is there without derivative if you write it becomes the solution then up to here you understand where you are, you are studying the Laplace transform as we have been telling uh, both the operators initially for the problem that is in the equation 1 up to here up to here completely this part is with the Laplace transform application remember and later on that means you have to apply Laplace transform you have to apply Laplace inverse and then you have to write for a final solution as the original function that original function will be in terms of Laplace inverse that is 6 divided by should be s plus 1 whole to the power of 4 that is 6 is constant you can put it outside then l inverse 1 divided by 
s plus 1 whole to the power of 4. Now, you have to evaluate this one using a shifting property. What is that shifting property? Because you do not have the uh, ready made uh, formulation for this that is 1 divided by s plus 1 whole to the power of 4 under the Laplace inverse. So, that if you had like 1 by s to the power of 4 immediately you would have written that is algebraic term third degree term then applying Laplace you would have get in the denominator as fourth degree term. Therefore, from third degree to fourth and fourth degree to third you have to think about the exponential property application. What is that? Then that is equal to 6 into e to the power minus t and then L inverse 1 divided by it should be s minus 1 it is plus 1 whole to the power of 4. That means, here L inverse of this much is equal to followed by exponential term when s is in between this step and this one this step s c is changing to s minus 1 that is all. You have to understand the very very secret um, uh, you know term that you are going to replace is this much. You are changing s as s minus 1 to make this s plus 1 as only s. How it is possible? You, uh, you have to see that other term is of which sign? This is with, with the sign as plus sign. So, that opposite sign you have to take so that this one can be eliminated. Thereby, this plus 1 minus 1 can be cancelled and you are getting the term that is equal to 6 into e to the power minus t then L inverse and 1 divided by it is s to the power of 4. Then, so now it is very easy to write what is this 1 by s to the power of 4 in terms of t e to the power minus t. It is t cube divided by 3 factorial that is by the formula again. What is that formula you know about that one? L of t to the power n because in one of the previous classes already we have discussed what is that algebraic term when a degree is n that is equal to n factorial divided by s to the power n plus 1. Then uh, this can be written t to the power n is equal to L inverse n factorial over s to the power n plus 1. This also can be written t to the power n divided by n factorial is equal to L inverse 1 by it is s to the power n plus 1. Then what, what I did in, the, in all these three steps the very important uh, rearrangement we did that rearrangement is nothing but that is t to the power n applying L you are getting f s and this n a can be shifted anywhere either you can retain in the left side or you can shift it to the right side. Therefore, uh, this is the statement given in terms of t and applying inverse you are getting this value. So, that here answer is given that is s to the power of 4 here s to the power of 4 then in terms of t you have to write means here n is there here n plus 1 is there. Therefore, 4 can be written as 3 plus 1. Therefore, when 3 plus 1 is there you have to write t cube and divided by its factorial that is 3 factorial. What is 3 factorial finally? 3, fa 3 factorial is 3 into 2. 3 into 2 means what? 6. That 6 already it is there which we can cancel without any hesitation we can cancel this 3 factorial with 6 and finally, you are getting it as t cube into e to the power minus t is the final answer for that particular problem. Therefore, this is the initial value problem means differential equation with initial conditions together will form as an initial initial value problem. We call it as IVP then this IVP can be solved even right side is algebraic uh, term multiplied that is t into e to the power minus t applying this concept and we are able to get this much and right side applying Laplace inverse we are able to get this much. So, this is the solution from L inverse and this is the solution from Laplace transform and these are the transforms of derivatives application. Let me take another situation in the same fashion another situation we will solve where the right side is 0, but left side is all the ordered derivatives are present in the left side. What, what all the ordered derivatives? One is that is a third derivative I take another one is second order derivative I take and next one is first order derivative also I am taking and uh, uh, that will be extended for next one more I will uh, solve again that is with respect to the fourth order derivative. So, fourth order derivative 
and third order derivative both the situations we will discuss with the particular uh, uh, initial conditions. What is the third order uh, derivative here that is fourth order is there fourth order I will this I will take uh, before that I will I will solve one third order derivative then I will come back to the fourth order derivative. Let me solve this uh, third order derivative one problem here it is given like this y double dash plus 2 uh, y triple dash plus 2 y double dash and uh, <coughs> minus 2 y dash and minus uh, minus y dash minus 2 y equal to 0 and the conditions are attached to this problem except of uh, 1 that is y 0 equal to y dash 0 equal to 0 and y double dash 0 equal to 6. This is another interesting situation where you have to deal with third order that means higher order derivative previous problem was second order derivative earlier to that I took it as first order derivative and now it is third order derivative I will go for the fourth order derivative then I shall discuss with the different types of uh, right side functions and uh, trigonometric functions also I will involve probably in the uh, next one or two cases. Now same time but this is uh, remember this is homogeneous differential equation homogeneous means you know already that right side is 0. Therefore, in the solution part we take that L y dash y triple dash plus 2 times L y double dash minus L it is y dash minus 2 times L of y it is nothing but y of t and right side L of 0. Remember this L of 0 is nothing but uh, you are introducing that value 0 inside the definition of Laplace transform what is that that is L of f of t is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus s t it is f of t dt is equal to f of s here L of 0 means this f t you are replacing here in this position as 0 since it is a definite integral you must know the basic meanings of all these uh, mathematics formulations if you are not strong enough in the basic formulations then anyone cannot survive in the mathematics uh, total discussions you must know the basics uh, and the basic formulations uh, thoroughly so that one among such uh, the basic thing is property of definite integrals that means when the function is 0 in the definite integral the value which we have proved in the theorem as 0 therefore L of 0 becomes 0 and here that means S cube L of it is y of t minus s square uh, it should be y 0 then minus of s into it is y dash 0 should be y double dash 0 2 times s square L of y t minus should be 2 times y of 0 minus 2 times y dash 0 that is enough and uh, minus should be s into L of y t and minus y 0 that is enough I think this is the first order derivative and minus that is 2 times L y t and that is equal to 0. I repeat the application of transform of derivatives to all the terms all the terms in the, this problem consists of all the four terms one is third order derivative next one is second order derivative next one is first order derivative next one is without derivative all the four terms this problem consists then individual term you have to apply its corresponding expression that means this first term takes 1 2 3 4 four terms like this if I put the floor bracket I think uh, it is better so this is the part for the first term and this is the part up to here for the second term and this is the part takes two terms for third term and this is the part for uh, last term then what you have to do is you have to apply the initial conditions y double dash 0 this is the only term takes that is 6 
whereas all the other terms are with the uh, uh, 0 that means y 0 here it is 0 then y dash 0 it is also 0 and here y 0 this must be and y dash 0 that is also 0 and here y 0 is 0. Now, carefully take the correct simplification by making common coefficients from Laplace transform that is L of y t we can keep it outside L of y t which is multiplied by s cube and uh, next term is 2 s square this is one term and next term is this is minus s and next term is minus 2 I hope so this is let me check it this is s cube this is 2 s square with plus sign and this is minus s and this is minus of 2 I hope I will close the bracket that is equal to only one term you are finally left with because the initial condition for second order derivative is not 0 whereas other two values are 0 therefore this minus 6 I am taking it to the right side that is equal to plus 6 that is all then what is your L of y t L of y t you have to shift this function to the right side that should be 6 divided by and your ordinary simplification must take all these terms to the denominator minus s yes, minus 2. Now, this situation takes in the denominator it is a third degree equation because when you come across the quadratic equation easily you can manage, but when you come across third degree equation you have to write the factors properly. Normally your first inspection method that means we call it as an inspection method you have to group the terms like first two terms and second two terms. From the first two terms whatever the factor it leaves if the same factor repeats from choosing the third term and fourth term easily you can combine those two factors and you can write it as product of those two factors. If it is not so for example then you have to go for synthetic division method. What is that synthetic division method then you have to define this uh, total quantity as a function of some s. Yes, then go on giving some trial values like s equal to 0 for which uh, uh, value you are going to assign that equation satisfies then that itself will become as one of the factors then divide that uh, total function and then when it uh, uh, becomes the first factor and the remainder which you are going to take so that will be acting as one another coefficient. But here I hope uh, fortunately first two terms you are getting like this that is 6 divided by s into should be uh, uh, that is s square if you take common s plus 2 one factor and minus if you take common that is s plus 2. I think fortunately we have uh, the co common coefficient and finally we are going to write this one as it should be s square minus 1 is one factor and s plus 2 is another factor. This is called uh, something like shortcut method we apply shortcut method, but this does not hold good in almost uh, general cases. This is only some uh, peculiar uh, situation where you can rearrange like this. If it does not happen then ultimate method is you have to go for uh, synthetic division method. Here it is not necessary I feel and directly you are getting the factors. Next the next part is this is a second degree again. So, this has to be converted like uh, first degree it is possible that is 6 divided by it should be s plus 1 into s minus 1 into s plus 2 that is what is the highest degree you found in uh, your expanded form that is s cube plus 2 s square minus s minus 2 and the simplification comes to be 3 factors and the highest degree when you multiply from all these 3 brackets that means if you release and you are getting it back as that is third degree equation third degree term second degree term and first degree term and then finally 1 minus 1 and 2 you are getting finally that is plus into minus minus and minus into plus minus leaving minus sign 1 into 1 into 2 that becomes 2 therefore your rearrangement is pakka and it is correct therefore now you have to go for that is L of y t should be evaluated for inverse this com comes to be ah, what I was uh, trying to convince is up to here all that uh, procedure we have applied 
uh, we are taken the Laplace transform direct application. Now, this step uh, which I am going to write now, this is the case of inverse Laplace transform. All that knowledge what you are gained from that is your basic definition of Laplace transform that is L of e of t is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus s t, it is e of t d t. This is one symbol and another symbol L inverse of it is e f of s is equal to e f of t. What you are doing is up to this step, up to this step, this is the part you, ha you have applied and up from here onwards, this is the part you are going to apply. Well, you must keep that in your mind, mind when you are solving these differential equations because the main goal of studying this Laplace transform in this field is especially for the engineering problems. And uh, today also I am going to end up my lecture with uh, one important application for uh, uh, graphical explanation that is for uh, uh, unit step function concept that is especially for wave propagation I will end up with uh, that particular uh, application problem. Now, uh, in, in any differential equation two things will play major role one is direct application next is inverse application in between when you are talking about direct application all the elementary properties will have to be remembered when you are talking about uh, inverse application corresponding elementary properties are to be involved combination of these two will leave the final answer as y of t which happens to be the uh, solution of the problem yes what is that next y t should be shifting that operator to the right side should be l inverse 6 divided by it is s plus 1 into s minus 1 into s plus 2. Since you have you are coming from diploma stream and you need to know regarding some partial fractions because we being the teachers maybe uh, we can uh, uh, give one or two examples in the available time, but you have to learn you have to understand these concepts and try to apply for more number of uh, examples because the secrecy of mathematics is like that when you go for more number of examples and more perfection you will get for especially for the concept or formulation. Yes, here it is the case of partial fraction which you have to discuss at the end. It is very simple if you had not studied partial fractions earlier and uh, you can easily uh, plan for uh, uh, partial fractions uh, understanding that is there are the only two or three uh, rearrangements in the partial fractions that you have to understand how to resolve into the partial fractions when product of some factors are given. The product of factors means you will find only three situations one is like this, this is the case of uh, linear, 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 another case is linear with quadratic, another case is quadratic and quadratic like this you will find the situations in the products of the denominator. Okay. So, now by partial fractions that means 6 divided by that is uh, otherwise 1 divided by if you keep the 6 outside s plus 1 into s minus 1 into s plus 2 will be written as a divided by s plus 1 plus b by s minus 1 plus c by it is s plus 2. And uh, when you are working for this particular step, you have to take uh, the LCM that means uh, uh, on both the sides. LCM is already present in the left side, but right side when you are uh, working about the LCM, carefully take the division that is 1 is equal to 1 is equal to A into S minus 1 into S plus 2 because common LCM is LCM is a product of 3 factors. So, when you divide it one term will cancel remaining two terms are written plus b into s plus 1 into s plus 2 plus c, c takes what multiplication s plus 1 into s minus 1 this is going to be divided. Now, so uh, here also on the right side is product of three factors left side is product of three factors we are cancelling it then one remains in the left side and this is the part in the numerator on the right side all that we are doing only for finding the values of the constants. Then what are those values? Now directly we can put at A is uh, for calculating the constants A, B, C and whatever these values are there opposite values you give. Then at S C equal to the first factor is plus 1 is there you put it minus 1 and S C equal to uh, minus 1 is there you put it plus 1 and S C equal to plus 2 is there you put it 
minus 2 respectively three constants directly you are separating and left side you have more advantage left side is only the constant which is not containing the term as s therefore s equal to 1 in the left side uh, will not change because constant only it contains constant there is no s so that it remains to be s uh, it remains to be 1 only and right side when you are talking about s equal to minus 1 wherever s plus 1 is there that term becomes 0 here s plus 1 and here s plus 1 that means this whole product is 0 and this whole product is 0 but this is not 0 what is the value you are getting then s equal to minus 1 means minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 and minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1 and this is minus of 2a then a is equal to minus 1 by 2 this is your calculation this is what uh, the uh, basic uh, uh, compulsory steps which you have to learn in uh, partial fractions now s equal to plus 1 means this term becomes 0 and uh, this term becomes 0 plus 1 means 1 plus 1 is 2 1 plus 2 is 3 3 into 2 is 6 that is 1 is equal to 6 times of b therefore b is equal to 1 by 6 then s equal to minus 2 s equal to minus 2 this is 0 this is 0 s equal to minus 2 you are putting that is minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 is 3 minus 3 then minus into minus that is plus therefore 3 times of c therefore c is equal to 1 by 3 when once you got all these three values you substitute in place of uh, in place of a b c that is if i take this 6 outside then a divided by s plus 1 means a equal to minus 1 by 2 that is 1 by 2 divided by s plus 1 and b is 1 by 6 put plus sign 1 by 6 divided by s minus 1 and c is equal to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 and divided by s plus 2 with this individual Laplace transform operator is to be operated what is the first term on the right side that is L inverse of minus 1 by 2 you must put minus 1 by 2 as it is this must be exponential term e to the power minus t already you are much familiar with this and plus 1 divided because it is an exponential term 1 by 6 and e to the power when minus is there opposite sign plus t when plus is there opposite sign minus then plus of 1 by 3 and then e to the power minus of 2 t. So, this is your final answer for uh, the solution of homogeneous differential equation homogeneous means right side is 0 and the differential equation is with uh, constant coefficients and it is said to be linear. Now, I will give the next uh, very important case. Uh, which I will uh, end up by taking uh, uh, higher order derivatives before I step in into uh, the application problem one final uh, application problem. Now, the next problem is you can uh, easily make out that is uh, uh, y to the power of fourth, uh, fourth order derivative minus k to the power of 4 y is equal to 0 then y 0 is equal to 1 then y dash 0 y double dash and y triple dash 0 is equal to 0 this is commonly occurring another uh, very important situation this uh, problem you must uh, solve uh, and uh, this type of problem you have to repeat because when you have the discussion of slope in term that is a slope means in terms of uh, derivatives especially uh, when you have uh, uh, the plotting of curve at uh, different locations with respect to the slope uh, means first order with uh, one location that means uh, once uh, displacement you will uh, explain the interpretation of that particular derivative and if it is a second order derivative then the slope you will notice at uh, two locations if it is a third order derivative like this problem this is third order means you will plot the curve at uh, three different locations uh, by interpreting the slope of that particular plot the graph uh, graph means for this solution that is y t what is that y t y t means you can plot the graph how to plot t values and then y t values. So, when you go on giving t values like uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on then in the coordinate system you can plot the curve then that curve should be discussed at the three different uh, uh, locations that is uh, third order derivative up to third order derivative means uh, uh, slopes you have to discuss. So, another important situation which I am going to discuss now the fourth order derivative problem that is uh, you have to solve. Uh, higher order equations then lower order you will find more comfortable when you solve more number of uh, 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 situations of differential equations 
uh, that means more number of problems means more um, uh, with a higher order derivative. For example, in this case that is y fourth order derivative minus it is k to the power of 4 y equal to 0. This is the problem that means this is fourth order derivative minus k to the power of 4 y that is equal to 0. Uh, that is equal to 0 means what do you mean? Right side when it is 0 means it is a homogeneous differential equation. Yes, your k here that means k uh, this one coefficient of y this acts as a constant. It is not a variable, but y to the power of fourth means it is a dependent variable with the fourth order derivative. So, uh, the uh, conditions are except the first one like y 0 is equal to 1 whereas y dash 0 minus y double dash 0 minus y triple dash 0 sorry sorry these are all equal to they are all equal to 0 it is given like this yes you you accept this data in terms of your own familiar symbols what is that familiar symbols it is d to the power of 4 y divided by d t to the power of 4 minus k to the power of 4 y of t is equal to 0 it should have been given like this this is fourth order derivative minus of constant to the power of 4 and y t is equal to 0. Then you are taking on this Laplace transform y to the power of fourth order derivative minus k to the power of 4 you can put it outside and L of it is y t and right side it is L of 0. Then left side first term it is a fourth order derivative you have the general formula like uh, y to the power n when n is equal to 4 you have to apply s to the power of 4 uh, L of y t you have to write like this and minus s cube y 0 minus s to the power of 2 y dash 0 next minus s, s to the power of 1 y double dash 0 minus s to the power 0 and y triple dash 0. So, th all these uh, 5 terms 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 all these 5 terms are due to fourth order derivative minus it is k to the power of 4 L y t and right side as usual you know that when the function is 0 according to the definition of Laplace transform the whole value becomes 0. Now, uh, what are we talking about next is application of initial values application of initial values means except y 0 is equal to 1 this is the only term which becomes non-zero whereas all these values all these terms will be replaced by 0. You are finally left with L of y t L of y t uh, what is that s to the power of 4 minus k to the power of 4 this is the term and this is the term from these two terms you can write as coefficients that is s to the power of 4 minus k to the power of 4 and only the term you are left with minus of s cube because of plus 1 that is equal to 0. Yes, your problem has been reduced to this much. Now, L of y t is equal to easily you can write without any hesitation s to the power of 4 minus k to the power of 4. What is your y t? So, then y t becomes L inverse should be s cube divided by s to the power of 4 minus k to the power of 4. What is this further? That is s cube divided by should be s square plus k square into s square minus it is k square. So, you have got uh, uh, two uh, quadratic factors which I was explaining regarding the quadratic functions. Now, you came across that quadratic function. Okay. Further, what we do here that is uh, uh, s square minus k square e it is also possible to write uh, in terms of uh, uh, linear factors because this quadratic factor with the minus sign you can also go for linear factors those linear factors means y of t is equal to L inverse it is s cube divided by it is uh, s plus k into s minus k into s square plus k square you can put like this then s cube by partial fractions s plus k into s minus k into s square plus k square will be further resolved into partial fractions in this way that is a by s plus k plus 
b by s minus k plus this is a quadratic factor how we are going to write if you are, if you have not studied earlier then uh, what i was telling is like quadratic and linear quadratic and linear means whenever linear is there one constant you assign in the numerator whenever quadratic is there two constants you have to assign in this fashion like c s plus d you have to assign this is uh, the procedure as defined in partial fractions that is whenever you have quadratic term which is not possible to factorize then left side if you take the lcm s cube is equal to s cube is equal to a into s minus k into s square plus k square one term plus b into it is s plus k into s square plus k square plus c s plus d into should be it is s plus k into s minus k then as usual when you uh, recall the previous one or two cases already we discussed uh, uh, for applying the laplace tra transform with uh, partial fractions opposite values you have to give first one at s is equal to k at s is equal to k one value and at s is equal to minus k another value and remaining those two we will take in a different uh, 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 comparisons okay at s equal to k means uh, this term becomes zero and s equal to k means this term becomes zero whereas s equal to k here and s equal to k here this middle term is not going to become zero but left side what is that it is k cube left side it is k cube this is zero and k s equal to k means that is k plus k 2 k that is b into 2 k and 2 k square 2 k square what is that you are getting that is k cube is cancelled with uh, k and then k square that implies b is equal to 1 by 4 that is 2 into 2 now s equal to minus k you are giving s equal to minus k means that is in the left side is minus k cube and on the right side minus 2 k that is minus 2 k into b and s equal to minus k whole square becomes plus k square that is 2 into k square and uh, uh, what you are putting minus k. So, this becomes 0 and this becomes 0 therefore, b value uh, I think I think first term that is not b this is a and a takes the value already we have calculated b then a takes the value that is k cube once again you are going to cancel this one and uh, minus also you are going to cancel that also becomes 1 by 4 therefore a equal to 1 by 4 and b is equal to 1 by 4 and finally you are left with another two constants which those two constants will have to be discussed uh, by comparing the coefficients on both sides because they are not linear factors which you cannot uh, assign the values directly that means like this if you take the comparison what that uh, particular comparison you have to make make like this that is s square means when you take uh, the coefficients of multiplication for example here s cube coefficient in the left side is 1 and s square into s that is a one term and here s cube you have to collect and here s, s cube you have to collect you will get one equation in terms of three constants but already two we have evaluated so that another one constant easily you can separate and then you work out that one for example that is uh, yt yt is equal to l inverse so a divided by what is that a a is equal to 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 divided by s plus k plus of 1 by 4 divided by s minus k suppose you are going to calculate the values of c and d let me write the answer in terms of c and d only plus c into s by s square uh, plus k square and plus d into that is d into 1 divided by s square plus k square for example this is you, you have to calculate the because i did not calculate these two you have to compare the coefficients uh, according to what the explanation i have given right the first term 1 by 4 e to the power minus k t plus of 1 by 4 e to the power k t and if s is not c, uh, c is not 0 then if c is not 0 then it should be cos of k t multiplied by c and plus if d is not 0 then d into uh, that is sin of 
it is k t and divided by k when I am claiming like this c is not equal to 0, d is not equal to 0. I do not know because in the comparison you will get the answers. If any one of these two is leading to 0, then uh, eliminate that term and write the answer in the presence of other term. Both will not be 0, you remember at least one of those two constants will not be 0 and another one uh, if it becomes 0, remove one term and then add one more term. So, with this I would like to stop up to here and uh, dear students, I would like to summarize all these things. Learn what is what is the meaning of Laplace transform, what are the elementary Laplace transforms uh, involved and how you are going to derive them and what is the inverse Laplace transform, how elementary inverse Laplace transforms properties and uh, theorems which you have to learn and uh, Shiva, uh, uh, this one uh, 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 convolution theorem in the inverse Laplace transform and uh, unit step function and finally, understanding all those topics this is very important that is solving the differential equations. You learn all these things and uh, go for more number of uh, examples which you are uh, if you are going to solve then you will get more perfection in this one. This is one topic where you can make it so easy and uh, can score maximum marks in this topic. With this any questions are there I will be able to answer, you can ask the questions.